an opportunity to come to Tari to perform and be part of the whole Tari festival. That opportunity is something that met Global Atelier. It's a very clean, kind of westernised city. Everyone's really lovely, everyone's super friendly. It's very busy. It can be quite chaotic at times, a bit unpredictable. I'm from Dandenong, Victoria, and that's such a multicultural place. And it's the same here. The variety of people, like that's not a shock, it's almost a comfort. Well, I haven't travelled a lot, so just to experience something that's different than Australia has been incredible. Nothing has felt bad because it's all been new and like different and exciting. I like the way they've set up a soiree so that you can see a, um, a performance first and then you can choose to do their class the next day. You saw these countries on stage and you saw these beautiful dancers. To be that close and personal with the choreographer and the dancers helping you in the space gave you those connections within that hour and 15 minute workshop, but also for the rest of the festival. The people giving the workshops were from all over the world. Even though they were from these different parts, it was elements of stuff we've worked on at VCA and all of it seemed to tie together, which was really great. It really gave me a good insight on what different countries sort of go for and what their style of contemporary is. I did a workshop with Thailand. Indonesia. Hong Kong workshop. Taiwan workshop. Singapore. Japanese repertoire workshop. I also did the Australia workshop with Anna. I was expecting a smaller space, so I was thinking, oh, you know, there might be about 30 dancers in the class and that will be squashy, but no, I think there are about, what, 60 to 70 in the class, so I had to do a quick change of thought to make it as enjoyable as possible, still trying to give the aesthetic that we have at VCA. And the second workshop, which was the choreographic workshop, just wanted to try and find a way into how incandescence was made. Because it's a remounted work, we started watching the video, and so we began learning over the course of the weeks just different sections, and then the last week before we came to Kuala Lumpur, we kind of put it all together, did an intensive and cleaned it up and tried to embody the work more. I think bringing that to Kuala Lumpur was a bit nerve-wracking because we only had two hours on stage to do the lighting and the plotting and the teching and the spacing. And that was a bit scary, like trying to do all that in 80 minutes and still fit some time to run it in and feel comfortable with it. The first performance, I was pretty nervous, I think, because it was such a big audience and there was a really big stage in a different country to do it. It felt unreal, like that we were in another country. You didn't really know anyone in the audience. The bud lights that are part of the show, I actually had to set up prior to the piece and then because of the way that we worked it, I was also calling the show so I actually had to run from backstage all the way around to the front of stage up through the auditorium and through audience members to actually get there to call the show. Uh, it was fabulous just to have somebody else there to be able to do that running around. I could concentrate on just getting the dancers prepared. The gala was really good because we only had the six minutes so it was just like one random burst of energy. I absolutely loved being on stage. You know, when I look up and do this first contraction that oh, all this work has led me here and I kind of look at the audience and I look around and I just get really excited. Because there were so many short performances and we were so close to the start, after we performed, we could go up into the audience and watch the other performances as well. There was just so much diversity. There was cultural dancing, technique dancing, and also dances about different issues, which was, you know, really exciting to see. Just being exposed to all different forms of contemporary dance from every country is just so different, so diverse. They had a big like um, celebration on stage where we all came together and all bowed and then afterwards we were taking yeah selfies with each other, all the different countries. It's been super fun to get to talk and mingle with everyone from different countries and kind of share similar experiences of dance. I think it's really something that we should be looking at developing ties with Asia artistically. I've been dancing for over 10 years and Honestly, I've never experienced something so positive and, you know, to my dancing and also life experience. I'm going to take away a real sense of confidence that when I graduate, I am going to be able to do this professionally anywhere around the world. I think it's been so like enriching for me to develop as a person, not just as a dancer or an artist. I've learned so much about myself and the other cultures and my practice. It's been an incredible opportunity. It sort of like reawakens your interest and intrigue in what art can be and it keeps you exploring and it keeps you interested and active. Extremely important to see what's out there, especially um, in this Asia continent. Not just the cultural dances, which are amazing, but just what their idea of contemporary is and where it can be taken.